Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I want to share with you an improved fix for the infamous 0xc00007b problem. Now I've already done a video before, uh, it was two years ago when I first um, found out like a fix for uh, the problem but it was for some games and it didn't work on all games so today hopefully by the end of this video you're gonna fix the entire uh, problem once and for all. Okay. Now, there are a few files that we're going to need to fight this problem, and they're right here on the desktop. Um, I've included some files here uh, in this uh, in this one here in WinRAR, kind of thin. Anyway, so in here you have the Visual C runtimes all in one, included in one folder, and the end user runtime here for the August 2006. And you have other uh, net framework and uh, .NET fix and whatnot that you also have to uh, install and make sure that you have on your computer. Now, another thing that I want to share with you is that make sure that all all of your drives are are there. Um, device manager, make sure that everything is installed and everything is up to date. Uh, no problem. Now for you know this one I don't really need this. I don't really care much for the Bluetooth. It doesn't really matter. But make sure most importantly make sure that the, the video uh, devices are all installed and all working properly. Make sure that your display adapters are working fine as well. Now those are pretty much the, the things that we need. It's like the um, display adapters, the, the sound and uh, well Wi-Fi network stuff like that, but for the rest of the stuff, they're just you know additional things that we don't really need. Um, yeah, make sure that everything you need, the most important things that you need, are there and are working properly. Uh, just ignore this one for now. Okay. So after this one, now there is an easy way to make sure that everything is working properly. You can you can just download the uh, driver pack solution toolkit and that will uh, eliminate the problems of, of you know devices not working well or just not installed or anything now this fix is done on Windows 7 ultimate and it's aimed for the 64-bit operating system so make sure that you're running in 64-bit operating system if you're running a 32-bit operating system and you're trying to apply the fix then you know it might work it might not work but good luck anyway so, as I said, the first thing that you need to do is that you extract the files here, and then number one, you do the Visual Cs first. Now you can do this manually, install each and every one of these, or you can just run this as an admin, and um, it'll automatically install everything here. Okay, now I've already done that, so I'm not going to be doing it again. And you know, after you've done that, make sure that you go here to the first one you know that you'll find here of course it's the end user when you extract it it's going to give you something like this ignore all these come right here and run this one okay just wait for it to update the thing about this one is if it updates your DirectX files that's great you know that's really great it means that you had some missing ones if it doesn't or if it gives you an error it means that you already have better files and there's no need to continue with the installation process so accept next and carry on I've already done that now if I do it it'll give me an error so I'm not gonna do it again um, after you've done with that now there's one step done um, come here and do these okay now it's time for these five that you will have to install as well now another thing about this, if you run one one of these and it just it doesn't show up or it doesn't give you like a message saying that the installation process is complete, it means that you already have one of them or you already have a better version of that. Sometimes it'll give you a message saying that if you want to repair it or something because you already have it, just don't do it. Okay, install them. Always remember to run them as an admin well oh for some reason I don't need admin privileges to install this one just install them and after you've done that 
Um, here's another important factor that you'll have to do. And now it's time for this one that will also include in the description down below. Um, you can just extract it here, just run it. No problem. Yeah, run it. It's okay. It's from Microsoft, so there's there are no 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 problems with that. Yes, whatever. Now, uh, go to the desktop because that's where we want things to go. I wanted to go on desktop. Let me create a new folder for that, and I'll show you how to do it. This is the most important procedure. I left this one. Uh, till the end for a reason. So there's a new folder here that I created just now. Uh, I'm looking for new folder two. No, uh, let's do it again. Uh, new folder two. Yeah, there we go. Uh, do it here. Okay. Now for this one, we're going to be doing something different. Uh, you're going to open this, uh, run this as, as we've done with the previous one. It'll give you something like this. Accept, agree, next, and move on. If it gives you an error, it means it's already updated or you already have better files. If not, then don't worry about it. Um, just let it finish. Uh, it may take a few minutes, you know, to finish, but it's worth it. Okay. Uh, I've already done these things. So I'm not going to be repeating them again. Um, here's the next step. Uh, okay. So uh, sort these by type. Okay. Now I want to go with these. Now select all of those. Select all of those and do extract. Wait, let me create another folder and I'm going to call it A. Um, so select all of these and uh, yeah, basically just extract them. Let's say um, extract files. It'll give you like an option like this one. Uh, where we are, we're desktop, new folder two. Yeah, just put them here. Okay. Now, if it gives you something like that, just click yes to all. Click yes to all. Okay, and it will basically um, extract everything. Because there are some, you know, repetitive files that, you know, they're probably one of those uh, scripts and whatnot. It's okay. So you wait for this to finish. You wait for this one to finish. And then what you do is that you want to go here, um, sort these by type. Don't do this. We don't need that and you pick up all of these. Now notice here we are missing uh, two other files that we will include uh, in, a, in a short bit. So select all of these, the applications, do not do not select the other ones, just see here application extensions, you select all of those except for the security catalogs and shit like that. Okay, so copy, here's what you want to do, you want to go here, C, Windows, System32, and paste them. Uh, make sure you do do this for the next 101 conflicts. Now I've already done this, so the files are the same. Look at here, like 478, 478. So it's the same, but we'll do it anyway. Okay? Don't remind me. Allow all. Go for it. Continue. And it will do like something like that. Just wait for it to finish. Yeah, skip this one. It doesn't matter. And there you go. You have your files right here. The next step is that you want to go here, system system 64, you paste them and do the same thing. Yes. Continue. And you skip. Now, there's another one that I, I will include in the description. It's really important. Um, it contains the uh, D3D compilers, the the, the remaining f the the remaining um, extensions that we need for uh, the DLL pack that we need to fix the problems. Okay. Now here's the the last one. The last step to do here is to run this update Microsoft update right here. When you run this one. Again, if you get an error, it means that you've already done that or you have a better version of whatever you're trying to update. If not, it'll update and it will ask you to reboot your computer. Okay, so here we go. Let's try it just in case. See, as you can, he you can see here, installer encountered an error. Don't panic. This is something that means that you've already installed this, okay, and you already have a version of it. Okay, no problem. Good. So now for the last step, 
now you sh should be right here so let's say for this one resident evil the game fix and here are the files 46 and 47 i'll include this one as well there um, so that we can uh, get it 46 47 copy them and then you go here windows system 32 you paste them oh see i, I didn't do this so <laughs> yeah there we go as you see here, uh, this one is larger, go for it, continue, skip the next one, and you'll have, oh, I already have 47, and it's already uh, in use, so it's the same thing for system 64, you do the same thing here, and yeah, continue. Don't worry, it's, it's, it's already there, so we don't need that. Anyway. Now that you've done this, everything should be working fine. Um, your GTA 5, your Resident Evil and everything should be working just fine. So if you run into any trouble, just leave a comment down below. Make sure you read the description uh, because I'll include some other tips and other pieces of advice that I didn't include um, in the video and hopefully it'll eliminate the problem once and for all and for Resident Evil 2 just make sure you download the crack fix and you can have everything working. Read the description and thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.